Hello and welcome to Chill Howie Mountain in Polk County, Tennessee, looking down at Parksville Lake on a snowy morning in February. From Phil Thatch Photography and Heather Boyd Art and Photography. Hello, it's Phil and Heather. She's holding the camera and it's about 6.15 in the morning. We got up at 5.45. Sunrise is like, what, 7.30? Yeah. Something like that. And we are going to Chill Howie Mountain, uh, which you've seen us go to Chill Howie Mountain before to make Vista shots. And the reason we're going is because it snowed overnight. We had just like maybe a half inch of snow like on the cars in the driveway, uh, but none anywhere else. It's kind of, it's not below freezing. I think it's like 35 or 36, but on Chill Howie Mountain, it should be a couple of degrees cooler and there should be a good bit of snow up there and hopefully on the, you know from Chilhawa Mountain you can see lots of mountain peaks in the distance and hopefully they'll be covered in snow and maybe we'll catch a decent sunrise the the, the weather is basically clearing up so hopefully it won't be 100 percent overcast and we'll be able to get some really pretty pictures but that's our plan and right now we are in the drive through at McDonald's to pick up some breakfast so we don't starve while we're up on the mountain. Hello. Okay. Well, we are on Chilhowie Mountain now, and I don't know if you can see, but it is definitely snowy. But the trouble is, there the overlooks where you make your photographs, it's totally fogged in and you can't see anything. So we are going, we've passed overlooks one, two, and three, and we're going to the gazebo overlook, which doesn't have a very good view, but the gazebo itself, that little old gazebo, which you may have seen on the channel before, is, uh, is really pretty, and it looks good with snow on it, and it looks good with fog around it. So that's where we're going. Um, we decided to take my old truck because it's four wheel drive, and so far, I haven't had to put it in four-wheel drive at all. I'm doing just fine in two-wheel drive. Whoa, that's Whoop, probably that, the first that's time. That's the first slip. Yeah, that's probably the first time it slipped. The road, you know, at the mm -mm. In, in the lower elevations on the mountain, the road was just wet. And the higher up we go, the more it is snow and the less it is water on the road. But I'm still in two-wheel drive. I could probably, you know what? Oh, yeah, I'm in four-wheel drive now. It's pretty snowy up here. It's a little foggy. Well, we are here at the Chilhowie Gazebo Overlook. It's really beautiful here and you can see how it gets its name from that gazebo right there. Uh, it's still socked in to where there's no view off the side of the mountain, but uh, the plan here is to make photographs of the gazebo in the snow and the fog. So we're gonna get on with that now. And hopefully the fog will clear and we'll be able to get some overlook photos soon that will have other mountains in the distance covered in snow and being beautiful. I've been using the Z50 and the 16 to 50 kit lens. I've kind of been over here making shots and I made some from over there and I made some from down here. I went all the way over here and made a shot kind of looking up this road which has kind of an interesting bend right there. All right, so I'm gonna show you my photos from the gazebo overlook first, and this is the only one that I made of the gazebo itself that I liked, and this was just kind of looking straight at it, uh, composed in the center with the overlook in the background and some trees in the foreground. And here's a shot, uh, kind of an up-close shot of some pine needles covered in snow that I thought was really pretty. Uh, you know, we don't see this kind of weather around here too often, so it was nice to see that. And this is the shot that I made when I went out to the road. And if you look really closely, you can see how the road goes to the left and then the right and then back to the left. Really like the way this shot turned out with all of that fog in the area. 
And this is a shot from up at the gazebo looking back down at the parking lot. For some reason, I had the urge to take a lot of photographs of my old pickup truck today. And this is the first one. You can see the truck down in the parking lot and all the trees and the beautiful rocks. And then this is a selfie that I made uh, from the parking lot with us standing by the truck. And you can see the gazebo in the background. It was really a nice morning to get out and do photography with Miss Heather and our Nikon Z50s. And the whole time I've been doing that, Heather has been up here. She's using her ultra-wide, I think, and her Z50. She's not quite as mobile as I am, but uh, she's definitely working it. Let's see what she's got going on right now. You still got your Tamron lens on? Yeah, do you need me to, do you need my cloth to wipe it off? Is it getting? Um, no, it's okay. Okay. I've got, well, you've got a pretty good lens hood. Yeah. <laughs> There's snow building up in the bottom of your lens hood. It's still snowing on us just a little bit up here. I don't want to walk on your snow. Look how beautiful that is. But that's an overlook over there that looks, that looks down into the valley. And as you can see, it's completely fogged in right now. Yeah, Heather's got a really beautiful composition. I've been just running around like a madman, shooting and shooting and shooting. And she's been meticulously dialing in her composition. And look at that, it's gonna be really nice. How many millimeters is that? That is 15. Yeah, she's using that ultra wide. You getting snow in your hair. <laughs> Heather made three photographs of the gazebo that she liked. This one is from pretty far back with lots and lots of boulders in the foreground and trees. And I like the way you can see that the snow was blowing in one direction, so it's kind of just sticking to one side of those trees. And this shot right here is similar to the last one, but a little bit closer. And you can see still the snow blowing on just one side of the trees. It's interesting it didn't stick on the gazebo itself. And this is the shot that uh, the video clip just a moment ago showed Heather composing with the gazebo on the right-hand side of the frame and the overlook to the left-hand side of the frame. We're in the gazebo now, and Heather and I both, independent of each other, thought that we could get a composition over here looking at these rocks in the foreground and these trees leaning out over the side of the mountain. And uh, I got here first with my camera, so Heather let me shoot it, but... I think she's going to have a better shot of it using the ultra wide. She forgot to set her timer. I've done that a hundred times today. That's a, that is a complaint about the Z50. If you turn the camera off and back on, you have to go back into the menus and turn your two second timer back on. This is that photograph that Heather was working on looking out of the gazebo to the right and you can see all the boulders with the snow on them and the beautiful snowy trees and also some more trees down in the valley. This was Heather's second favorite shot of the day. There's the gazebo over there. I'm not sure how many of you know it but I'm a huge fan of the Mazda Miata. I don't own one anymore but I drove nothing but Miatas for a decade. In fact, if you look on the front of my old truck this is a vanity plate, Friends of the Great Smoky Mountains Zoom that I used to have on a Miata years ago. Well, while we were over at the gazebo, a first generation Miata came by with the top down and did donuts over here in the snow. I was fumbling trying to get my video camera and missed it, but I thought it was completely awesome. And then he ran on up the mountain road. So there's the gazebo in our truck and I discovered something that I've never known before. There's a trailhead across the road here, and there's a campground in three-tenths of a mile, and in seven-tenths of a mile, you can link up with the Benton Falls Trail. So you can actually go to Benton Falls from here without going all the way to uh, the area where the Benton Falls Trailhead is. We left the area there at the gazebo where we made all of those photos, and we went back down to the Sugarloaf Mountain Overlook also known as Overlook Number 2. And while we were there, I took my little uh, vlogging camera, the little Canon EOS M50, and I just made a video clip for about, I think it lasted 29 minutes 
uh, looking off the overlook and then I sped it up 32 times to turn it into this time lapse that you're watching now and while we were uh, while this time lapse was being recorded Heather and I were making photographs there looking off that's Parksville Lake below and there's the Parksville Lake Marina and um, this is video from the Sugar Loaf Overlook. I made a panorama from here and Heather has put on her Tamron 18 to 400 and she's working on some detail shots of the mountaintop. She's calling it her Cuban rum shot because he submitted a, a, a detail shot of the Grand Tetons to our Winter Wonderland live stream. How's it working out for you? I like it. Cool. Well, I think we're about done from here at the Sugarloaf Overlook on Chilhowee Mountain. Uh, starting to get kind of cold, but uh, gosh, it's been really pretty. And uh, I've still got the little Canon camera just making video, which I'm gonna speed up and hopefully it will be a time lapse or maybe not, uh, but we'll see. So I, hey, I've been doing stills with the Z50, but I put the, uh, the Rode Wireless Go microphone on the Z50 to make this clip because that camera's occupied. And uh, I'm really excited uh, to see Heather's shots because I, I really think she uh, has a gift of composition and uh, so I'm excited to see what she's come up with. She used her ultra wide and her 18 to 400 from up here. Did you use anything else? No, just those two. When you were using your 18 to 400, were you, what was your focal length? Uh, 18 to 400, I was at 400 millimeters. Really? Okay. Yeah, I've got some cool detail shots. That is awesome. I, I put my 50 to 250 on for a little while, but I, I don't really think I got anything good. So I'm excited to see what Heather got uh, with that. And, even though we weren't completely socked in anymore, there were still lots and lots of clouds in the way and it made it really difficult to get a shot of the full scene. But I still tried and here is a eight shot panorama looking down at Parksville Lake. And this shot is Heather's shot at 400 millimeters. This is of the nearer of the two mountains. And some of it is warm and some of it is cool and it's a really nice shot that Heather made with the Tamron 18 to 400. Here's a shot that I made with the Z50 of us with Parksville Lake there in the background and you can see the, the little Canon camera on the right hand side which is making a video clip which turned into the time lapse which you've seen in this video. And this shot right here is my shot uh, at 50 millimeters. I could have kept the 16 to 50 on but I put on the 50 to 250. This is the near mountain that's warm and the far mountain Sugarloaf on the other side of the dam is cool. But I got the idea to make that shot from Heather, and this is her version of it at 24 millimeters with the near mountain nicely warm and Sugarloaf Mountain in the background, not with sun on it. It is cool, and you can see the dam there as well. I made this shot kind of uh, further over to the right than most of the shots were made, and on this one I'm standing on this rock or boulder, which is kind of hanging off the edge of the mountain a little bit. And you can see Parksville Lake and all the clouds behind me. And this is a panorama and yet again you can't really see the entire scene because there's so many clouds in the way. Really the best way to look at the entire scene is in the time lapse video that I've shared. Are you cold? Yeah, <laughs> my feet are more than anything. Yeah, my feet are cold too. We, we both are wearing our rubber boots so we didn't get our feet wet but I, I think I probably could have gone with a couple more pairs of socks <laughs> or some thicker ones. But anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you like the content, a thumbs up is greatly appreciated. And uh, subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see some more. And we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye. You say bye-bye? Bye-bye. 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 Here comes a car. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.